but today we're going to do our lesson two about our opinion writing. And yesterday we did our lesson one, which was what is an opinion? And so what's an opinion? Do you guys remember? Do you remember? Yes. Um, how you feel, feel, and are the special things you like to do. So how do you feel about something and what are like your favorite things to do? And then you have to give us reasons why you think that's the best thing or reasons why that's how you feel about something, reasons why that's your favorite thing. So in first grade, we're going to ask you for three reasons why you feel that way. Those are also called supporting details. So I told you yesterday that we we're going to collect ideas. Collecting ideas is making a list of items to write about because we don't always keep them in our heads. Sometimes we need to put them down. Quiet fingers, Amita. Sometimes we need to put them down on paper so that we don't forget the next day or when we're writing again, we're not like, oh, what well, are some good ideas that I can write about? So today we're gonna, it back in the day it was called brainstorming. Today we're going to collect ideas about our favorite animals and our favorite foods, okay? That's what we're collecting today. And I waited to see if anybody class dojo me with their favorite foods or their favorite animals, but nothing came up. So I'm gonna do this on my own. I got some ideas from Emilio. I'm gonna get ideas from Mr. Bourgeois, from Mrs. Bourgeois. Okay, here we go. So what are some of your favorite animals? Okay, I see Emilio's hand up. Anybody else have their hand up? There's, oh, Mr. Bourgeois has hands up too. I'm looking for my marker. I don't know where I put. Um, oh, it's wow. right there. No, some other markers I had. Okay, so favorite animals. What are some of your favorite animals, Emilio? A cheetah. A cheetah. Oh, I bet you a lot of you guys in the classroom think that's your best animal. That's the best animal and to And a snake. Hold on, Emilio. Cheetah. I know Mr. Bourgeois said that one of his favorite animals was an elephant. Okay. And I think Joaquin likes elephants too. So he likes to show me all the elephants in his room. Elephants, cheetahs. Uh, what's another one of your favorite animals? Um, snakes. snakes. Anybody at home have any ideas? Let me guess. Let me hear you. Did someone say panda? Oh, I think someone says panda. Pandas. Anyone else have another favorite? Lions. 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 Mr. Bourgeois said lions. Oh, I actually said lions. Well, it's okay. More than one of you guys can have that favorite animal. It's okay. All right. So we have cheetahs, elephants, snakes, pandas, lions. Anything else? Oh, I see someone raising their hand at home. Dogs. Sounds good. Dogs. Can we add more things on here? Yes. Okay. You can add more things on here. But I ran out of space and it's just us three. So at your house, you can grab your notebook, write favorite animals at the top, just like we do in the classroom, and write a list of all of your favorite animals, okay? So that you have some ideas to pull when you're gonna write about your favorite animals, okay? Let's go to favorite foods. What are some of our favorite foods? Let's think about it. Turn and tell your mom or dad, whisper. Okay, like in the classroom, you turn and tell your partner. Um, I like favorite foods. Um, fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo, just like his mama. Okay, so fettuccine Alfredo. And I don't think any kind of fettuccine Alfredo. We like fettuccine Alfredo from Olive the Garden. Olive Garden. Fettuccine and Alfredo. And the one you make. And the one I make. Fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, what else is one? Mr. Bourgeois, what's your favorite food? Pizza. Pizza. Oh, he makes it easy for Miss Bourgeois. Anyone else? Ice cream. Ice cream, yep. Ice cream can be a food. Sweets can be a food. I know Adam's mom asked me yesterday, can it be something sweet? Yes, it could. Okay, and um, Joaquin. Joaquin likes yogurt sopita. Puff. Well, he likes yogurt puffs and puffs, but he likes the sopita. You know, like sopa de fidel? Or your little star sopitas. You know, your little soups. Hmm, anything else, guys? Chile rellenos. Chile rellenos. Oh, Mr. Bourgeois. Hint, hint, huh? Sorry, the stores are closed. <laughs> I'm kidding. Chile rellenos. And I'm going to say um, one of Emilio's favorite foods also that he hardly ever gets to eat is macaroni and cheese. Oh. But he likes it. 
eating the lunch when I went to school, I brought my lunch and there was macaroni and cheese. Yeah, he likes it. Alrighty, so also in your house, these might not be your favorite foods. You might have something that's your favorite that's on up here or something completely different or some of these might be your favorites too. In your house, go ahead and grab a notebook, write favorite foods at the top. Ask your parents for help how to write it, favorite foods or just sound it out. And then write all of your favorite foods. Remember, we can put bullets next to it. You don't have to have this many. You can have three favorite foods too, okay? It's just for you to have a place to put your ideas, where you collect your ideas, so that when we come to writing, you can go ahead and pick an idea from there. You don't have to start all over from the beginning. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.